Hey guys, we're in my shop and in this video, I wanna teach you how to use wood putty you can buy at the store and how to make your own wood putty for any wood species. You're watching Timberman TV. All right, so if you're building a wood tabletop like this, oftentimes the wood's gonna move a little bit if it's fresh out of the store. But if you buy wood putty like this, this is from Minwax color changing wood filler. I do like it, it comes pink, but once it dries, it changes and I'll show you how that works. All right, so to spread it out, I just cut off a little piece of two by four like that. Get some on the end here and you can see the crack in between these boards. And I'm gonna apply the putty like this. And what I like to do after is take my hand and go back and forth over it, smoothing that out. Once you apply stain or paint to this, you won't see that seam. So I would say this is a good wood filler to use if you're doing lower end, cheaper projects with like, let's say this soft wood here that you're going to stain. Now I wouldn't recommend using this filler if you're using real hardwoods because real hardwoods typically you just clear coat or oil leaving them their natural color. So you're not gonna be adding stain or paint on top of those hardwoods. So this wood filler, I would not recommend for that because it's gonna dry one color. It's kind of like a beige color. So not all wood species are that one beige color. So I wouldn't recommend this for that. But I will show you how we can make our own wood putty for different species of hardwood. If you have some nail holes like this, say from your brad nailer, I would also put some wood putty in there and you can just dab a little bit on your finger, come right over the top. And again, once you stain that area, it will blend in much better than just having a hole in the wood. All right, so let's say you're working with a hardwood. In my case, I'm building this walnut live edge epoxy bar top, and I need to make that seam much cleaner by making my own putty. So I'm gonna take the same species of walnut, this is just a scrap off of there, and we're gonna create a lot of sawdust from this piece that we can then mix with glue to put in that seam. Now I have all my sawdust made from that walnut and I'm gonna mix that with some glue here to make our own putty to fill in this seam. All right, so now I'm gonna let this dry, let that glue set, then come back and sand this down. Now I got some 220 grit sandpaper and I'm gonna go over that area that I applied the putty. By doing that with that same sawdust and glue, you're able to make the exact same color that you need. That way a putty isn't drying a different color than the wood you're using. Wood putty is super easy to use. Just make sure you know what you're working with, whether you're using hardwood sawdust or the wood filler you can buy at your local big box store. Leave a comment below if this has been super helpful. Make sure to smash that like button. We'll see you next time on Timberman TV.